Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and I try. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a very easy way of how to sharpen your photos in Photoshop. So, there are various techniques that you can use to sharpen images in Photoshop, but I really find this one really important and very helpful and easy to understand. So, you can see a quick before and after for the sharpening. You can see how sharp the image has gotten to be or to look. So initially, I'm just going to come and delete the sharpened layer. So basically, what we tend to do sometimes, we use the high pass method, but I find that that method is a little bit distracting because it creates that kind of dark contrast areas in the areas it tends to sharpen. So I'm just going to create a duplicate layer from everything that I had initially before so if at all you have only a background layer you just have to press ctrl j or command j on the keyboard but since i have a couple of layers below this i'm just going to create a new stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard then if at all you you are using windows you can use shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard and that is going to enable you create a stamp visible layer so a stamp visible layer usually contains everything that was embedded below these adjustments. So after doing that, we're just going to rename that into Sharpen. So after we have renamed that layer, we want to convert it into a smart object. By smart object, I mean we want the sharpening to be non-destructible and we want to be able to control the level of sharpening after applying it to the image so in order to do that you have to come right here to just come and right click on this layer and just come to convert to smart object so you right click on the layer you come and select convert to smart object so when you convert this to a smart object it means that every single time when we are sharpening the image and we apply a given amount of sharpening to the photo we can later on come and change those values later on after applying them on the image. So that is the advantage of using a smart object layer. So we have created this sharpening layer and have converted it into a smart object. You can see it has this icon right next to it. So we are going to come to filter and we're going to come to sharpen and we're going to come to unsharp mask. So when you come to unsharp mask, it's going to open up the unsharp mask window for you right here. So we have amount and radius, which are the most important aspects for this very method. So I'm just going to take a radius down and also I'm going to take the amount slider all the way to 1. So with this, you can see the amount is the intensity of the sharpening that you want and the radius is how distant you want the pixels to be in the sharpened areas within the image so for example if at all i'm take the radius all the way up and i move my sharpening you can see that it's going to make the pixels a little bit more contrasty and it's going to make the pixels a little bit more on the denser side and it's going to darken the more prominent pixels within the image and it's going to also make the overall image a little bit look darker so I would request that as you're doing this, always make sure that the radius slider is between 1 and 2. Don't exceed that for these kinds of portraits. So I'm just going to use a radius of around 1.6. So after doing this, I just want you to look at uh, the eye area in this case. So just start taking up the amount of the sharpening as you're looking at the image right in the preview window and also the overall image so just come and start taking that up and you can see as you're moving it up you can notice that the image is now looking a little bit sharper than it was before so in order to notice this or to look at this better just click in this preview you left click and you look at the preview that's the before when you left click it shows you and you hold down it shows you the before and when you release the left click button it shows you the after before after just look at how sharp that has gotten to be so i'd request that you also don't exceed around 125 so be within 80 and 
uh, around 125 for the best results so just use that and simply hit ok and that is going to apply the sharpening to the image so i'm just going to zoom out by using ctrl command minus on the keyboard and if at all i'm to show you the sharpening for this image ctrl plus to zoom in you can see the before sharpening and this is the after sharpening just look at how sharpened the image has gotten to be or to look so if at all you feel like uh the sharpening that you applied before is not the one that you want to the image you can see that every adjustment that we made to the image was created down here so simply double click on the unsharp mask right here so when you double click it can bring back the same values that you applied when you're sharpening the image and you can change those values later on so i'm just going to leave this at this so if at all for example you don't want to sharpen specific areas like the skin or you don't want to do sharpening on the skin area and you only want the eyes to be sharp the smart object always comes with a white layer mask so with this layer mask you can simply click on it and when you invert this layer mask in the smart filters by pressing ctrl or command i it is going to invert or hide the sharpening from affecting the image and with the white brush so just come and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is zero or past and the flat hundred percent make sure you have black and white right here or you can reset by using these two small boxes or you can as well switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is on top and with that brush you can paint in the areas that you want uh, to sharpen in this case you can see we are now making the eyes look sharper or they are more evident and sharper so you can see the before sharpening on the eyes let me just zoom in a little bit more so this is the before sharpening and this is the after sharpening so this is the best way to sharpen your portraits within photoshop and if at all you have learned something you don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Monis photography thank you for watching and see you need more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating